Well, the study is, they're looking at people called HIV controllers. So these are people who uh, have been infected with HIV, and there is evidence of infection, but they control the virus. If you, if you look for the virus in their blood, you can't find, find it by standard tests. It's at such low levels. So somehow they're able to control the virus, and to do so without taking medicines. Just somehow, naturally, their body is controlling the virus. And the point of the study is to try to figure out how this is happening. What they did in this study was to look for genes. So they collected uh, samples from all over the world, and we sent samples here from UMD and J, and they compared the genes of those patients to people of HIV but are progressives, or, or in other words, the virus keeps, keeps going. And they did very sophisticated analysis to figure out what genes it might be that is allowing a person to control the virus without medicines. This is a very, very important finding. And I think it will ultimately be a clue to find medicines or vaccines or other means to help everybody, hopefully, uh, with HIV. The patients uh, that participated in the study, the subjects, were, were absolutely wonderful. Uh, these are people who have been infected with HIV but are lucky enough, blessed, uh, to not progress and not to need medicines. And, and to a person, they all wanted to, to help, to participate in any way they could to help other people. They participated selflessly and, and also, furthermore, they were, even beyond that, they were inspiring to myself and to the other researchers uh, to try to, that we could try to find something to help the people who have HIV but, but do progress and need medicines.